I don't think anybody can forget the Miami Dolphins legendary tight end, Jim Mad Dog Mandich. Now, he was on that 1972 undefeated Miami Dolphins team, and even now in Dolphins history, he is second among tight ends in scoring, fifth in receptions, and second in touchdown catches. They'll be celebrating his legacy in Isle Morada for the upcoming fifth annual Mad Dog Fishing Classic. Nick, thank you for being on the show with me. Thank you, morning. Jenna, for having me. I appreciate and, it. Well, it's great having you here, Nick. And it sounds like your dad was an amazing football player, but not just an amazing football player. He was also a, an amazing guy. Amazing <laughs> human being. Uh, he was my best friend uh, up until the day he passed away from bile duct cancer, which mm -hmm. was in 2011. And, uh, and yeah, he had a tremendous, tremendous career with the Miami Dolphins. Mm -hmm. uh, he started his career with the Miami Dolphins in 1970, and he continued his career till 1977. And of course, he had the legendary and uh, unmatched uh, 1972 perfect season. Mm -hmm. But in 1971, they went to the Super Bowl, they lost. 1973, mm -hmm. they went to the Super Bowl and they won. Mm -hmm. And uh, he got that trophy. He got, <laughs> he got that trophy, and uh, he got those rings, and, uh, and then in 1978, he was traded to the Pittsburgh Steelers, where he played with Terry Bradshaw, the Steel, steel Curtain, and, uh, and he finished his career with a, a Super Bowl with the uh, Steelers. Mm -hmm. so. A very, very impressive career. Very impressive <laughs> career, but... Uh, what, what's your favorite memory of him, Nick? My favorite memory? Off the football field. Oh yes, no. There's there's no favorite memory. He's a he was a family man. He, he is a family man. I mean, my whole life is devoted to his legacy and continuing that. He gave me a you know a wonderful life. I have a wonderful family. My mom Bonnie Mandage, my two brothers Michael and Mark Mandage are very successful and work in Miami. But my favorite memory of my father was being down in the Florida Keys, out on our 24-foot pathfinder called the Mad Dog, mm -hmm. and, uh, and going out fishing with him, really not catching anything at all. <laughs> we tried. But you tried, but it, so that's all that matters. But that was that is by far. And then, of course, we own uh, Ziggy and Mad Dogs, which is an on-mile marker 83.5 in Isla Mirada, steaks, chops, seafood, best in the Florida Keys, in my opinion, <laughs> and uh, going there and mingling with customers and showing them a good time, hospitality, and uh, that is Those my your memories. best memories with my father, amongst a million other. Mm -hmm. So your dad loved fishing, didn't he? My dad loved fishing. My dad loved being in the Keys. He loved the fact that life really does slow down mm -hmm. when you come down to the Keys, so he was extremely busy. Uh, with multiple jobs in Miami and then he would escape mm -hmm. and he would even because he, he did the radio for years mm -hmm. sports talk radio and uh, he even had them bring down a whole entire unit at the restaurant for him to do his uh, remotes his radio mm -hmm. uh, gig from Ziggy and Mad Dog so he would do his gig mm -hmm. he would sit down have a green lizard after mm -hmm. kind of deflate and mm -hmm. uh, and then continue to have a, a wonderful weekend mm -hmm. down in the Keys. What in the world is a green lizard? A green lizard is a Heineken. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, Just wondering what you were talking about. That's Nick. what it is. Yeah. <laughs> he, right. he, he stuck by Heineken his whole entire life. Okay. And, uh, well, again, let's talk about this fishing classic that you have coming up in Almorado. Mad Dog Managed Fishing Classic was started by my father mm -hmm. five years ago, and, uh, and it's just a wonderful tournament. It's not hardcore. It's not extremely demanding. Of course, people come down to win it, mm -hmm. but we have great parties. Uh, the kickoff party is at Ziggy and Mad Dogs on uh, Friday night, October 5th. It's October 5th and 6th, mm -hmm. Friday and Saturday. And uh, kickoff parties at Ziggy and Mad Dogs, and from there we move over to a beautiful Chesapeake Resort, and uh, we have our weigh-in on Saturday, and there's big party after a huge mm -hmm. tent. Laker sponsors. Mm -hmm. It's four hundred fifty dollar entry fee, and that includes both nights, parties, food, all the drink, all the food you can eat, all the drinks mm -hmm. that you can 
drink and uh, <laughs> that you can imagine and now can people still enter this tournament oh absolutely mm -hmm. I would encourage people to enter it it's fun mm -hmm. and that's what you want to do mm -hmm. when you come down to the Florida Keys when you get on a fishing boat you want to have fun mm -hmm. and enjoy yourself and uh, and of course people can still enter they just go to mad dog www.maddogclassic.com and it's on the bottom of the screen right now and, and it's of on course the bottom let's of the not screen. forget that the whole purpose of this is to honor your dad and I know the proceeds where are the proceeds going Nick? the proceeds go to Mariners Hospital mm -hmm. in Isla Mirada and they recently opened a oncology wing mm -hmm. in uh, for cancer in in the hospital and the proceeds will go there because uh, everybody knows that when you have cancer and whoever has experienced it it's very taxing and you'd rather not drive uh, all the way up to Miami or Homestead. You just get it in-house right by your house mm -hmm. in Isla Mirada or down the Keys mm -hmm. further. Well, it sounds like this is such a great tournament and such a great man. So thank you, Nick, Wonderful for being on man. the show this morning and sharing all of this with our viewers. Absolutely. <laughs> thank you very much. It's, it's great to be here. And everybody, get out there and join Nick, right? Get out there and <laughs> join me and come out and have a good time. All right. Thank you. I'll be right back after these messages. Please stay with me.